He's the president, the Senate's Republican, and they're saying, well, the Constitution says the president picks, he's the president, so he's going to do it. Reaction? My reaction is, where was that four years ago? I mean, uh, the, the hypocrisy is spectacular. And this shouldn't be just about raw power politics. Now, we got no illusions here. We know that for these Senate Republicans, uh, principle seems to be fading in the background because they have a chance to exercise power. But the thing I keep thinking about, and, and maybe it's because I'm not a lawyer, is, is the real life everyday consequences of them seizing that kind of power. I think about my own marriage that exists by uh, the grace of a single vote on that Supreme Court. It, one way of thinking about it is that if RBG were not on the bench in 2015 and somebody else was, depending who it was, I might not be a married man talking to you right now. I'm thinking about just a few weeks from now when a crucial case involving healthcare is gonna hit the Supreme Court and literally lives depend on whether the court winds up allowing uh, the, uh, uh, the Republicans to just blow up protections for pre-existing conditions or any of the really key elements of the Affordable Care Act. So it feels like there's layer after layer here. There's deep questions about uh, how the law should work. There are structural questions about how to reduce the politicization of the court. But the most immediate question is, how are our lives going to be different if the Republicans succeed in ramming through a nominee this close to an election or worse, in a lame duck session after they lose an election? And what's that gonna mean in our everyday lives? You have a plan that you promoted when you ran, that you wanted to expand the court to 15 members, five Democrats, five Republicans, and five independents picked by those 10. My fear as a lawyer, Pete, is that if you start doing this, because Ruth Bader Ginsburg was against increasing it from nine, and, and the reason that I'm so worried about it is, yeah, if Schumer does that, then it goes to 13. Then Republicans gain control, they go to 17. And in five years, <laughs> we're gonna have 30 members of the Supreme Court, right. and it's just gonna be about adding members when you want your views to prevail. Yeah, I, I think our concern right now shouldn't be uh, just about which team gets its way. It should be uh, how we could have this become a less politicized process in our lifetime. And that's why I'm really attracted uh, to the idea of bipartisan reforms. But, uh, you know, that that's a question that uh, whose time will come. And, and, and when I talk about my interest in that, I'm obviously speaking only for myself. Uh, what really concerns me in the moment uh, is what's going to happen over these next days and weeks. I mean, these Senate Republicans have made it very clear uh, that these these steadfast principles they had four years ago uh, about uh, about not voting on somebody during election year is all bull. Uh, and, and now they've, they've flipped to something completely different.